I would love to have a space agency look very seriously at what it would take to send a lander to Mercury. It, it's, it's a challenging mission, all right? Uh, not only do you have to get close to Mercury with all the orbital tricks that Messenger used, but you, you need a propulsion system to land. There's no atmosphere. You can't use uh, uh, parachutes to help you like you can on Mars. Um, and then when you land, uh, over most of the planet, you've got to deal with the fact that uh, the day lasts for three months and nighttime lasts for three months and the temperature excursions between day and night are, are very large, uh, 600 degrees centigrade at the equator. If you went to the poles and you went into one of the permanently shadowed craters, you could indeed sample the polar deposits. You could look to see what the material, the dark material at the surface of most of those deposits is made out of. You might be able to uh, dig or core down 20 or 30 centimeters to get to the water ice. The challenge would be that you couldn't rely on solar power. So you'd need to bring a power system. Um, you would not have the diurnal variations in temperature to deal with. You just have cold temperatures, but uh, no colder than space, in fact, warmer. So uh, that would be an interesting place to land, and there would be some interesting things to do.